Hello, it's, uh, it's Dave here. I'm just walking the dog through the cemetery, doing the usual walk. I thought I'd film it for, for a change. It's a nice night. It's uh, half past six. There's quite a bit of wildlife in this cemetery. Like, uh, there's woodpeckers, sparrow hawks, wood pigeons. <laughs> um, Loads crows, everything. The sparrow hawks are uh, good to watch. Like, if you ever get to, if I ever get to see them, they have been about. I don't know. I just keep walking. If I don't speak, uh, that's because I haven't got much to say. <laughs> uh, some of the some of the graves here. These are quite old. These like the uh, 17, 1780s and that. Um, well, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but all of the snowdrops look nice. Uh, they do maintain it quite well. This uh, cemetery, like the, they leave it over the winter for the let all the wildlife uh, hibernate and do what have, and then uh, tidy it up. There's going to be loads of bluebells. There's uh, loads of snowdrops, but up there. See if I can zoom in. Bunny steady. That's a uh, sparrow hawk's nest box. You get tawny owls, uh, pheasants, foxes, all sorts of things. But like I say, I'll uh, I'll not keep blabbing it on. I'll just uh, have a walk around. Annie likes it around. Uh, Having a walk around here, like there's another nest box up there. <coughs> nice and quiet, like dead peaceful. <laughs> And the, uh, the cemetery is the actual dead centre of North Shields. Haha, <laughs> bit of a joke there, it wasn't very funny like. Um, but like I say, it's uh, quite a good little walk around here. If I come across anything of interest, I'll uh, point it out to you. But, come on. See how long it takes before my arm aches. There's some crocuses there. None of the daffodils have uh, flowered yet, like. They're all just sitting there waiting. They're nice, uh, nice um, spring like night. So we have just come from down there where them houses are they, that, that used to be all cornfields years ago but like everything else it gets built on uh, have a walk through this way That's some uh, some of the graves are quite interesting like I say but it's, some of them have fell over but I think what the council are doing is all the ones that are dangerous, like there's two there that have been laying down because you know health and safety. Do want kids, uh, kids to well, they shouldn't be climbing on them in the first place. But as you can see, most of the big ones are down. Across this main road part and uh, see on the other side. Just pause this. I think. Oh, back again. Just had to make sure no one was there uh, coming up that path there. Didn't want to look like an idiot talking to myself. Um, this is the 
coming into the oldest part of the cemetery now. <coughs> Some of the graves over uh, where I'm going to show you now are uh, really old. I think the first one's about 1600 and something. Someone coming there, just uh, keep it down a bit. <laughs> Come on, you get the front. Look at There's quite a few people out tonight. Uh, it seems to be a popular dog walking place, you know. Especially on nights like this. The cemetery closes at 7 o'clock. Like. There used to be a bell. Um, they took it down. In the olden days, there was an old, like the groundskeeper, um, used to ring the bell to let everybody know. Obviously, they were closing up, but they had to take the bell away because it was haunted. <laughs> it used to ring every night, and the people in the houses there used to just obviously be woken up by a bloody bell ringing all of, every night. So they had to take it down. But they, there, there is a few ghosts in here as well. Uh, there's famous ones. I don't know if you believe in ghosts, but I, I do because I've actually seen one. But uh, there's two in here. The, the, there's the old, um, like, groundskeeper man. That's one of them. And there's one of them, one of the ghosts, quite famous locally. It's called uh, the White Lady, and she's seen quite often uh, in here. Where's them um, old graves? Come on, Annie. <coughs> this is uh, this old tree fell down years ago. I think they've just left it because it's a uh, nice little feature. Plus, it'd be good for the wildlife, like. But uh, it was a huge tree when it was up. And you can see the size of it. Stay. I think stay there. That sits on its side. It would be about a hundred year old tree, that. Oh, he has these old graves here. I thought there was more than that actually, but yeah, the, uh, like I say, ghosts, um, if you believe in them or not, but I do, I've seen one like I say, and uh, this cemetery is quite old, so, you know, ghosts, ghosts of the past, right, what does this say, here are the remains of the uh, site graveyard when it was regulated. 1739, the years 1661 and 1717, when the memorial stones was so between 1661 and 1717 was the first uh, graves. This one, yeah, it's really old, isn't it? You can hardly read the writing on it. Proper old, uh, old English writing, not. Sixteen ninety-five. That one. This one's quite big. But there's no, no sign of writing apart from that, on that one, like. So they weren't made to last in them days. <coughs> uh, well, I'm getting back onto the main road now. These graves here are all uh, old uh, vicars and what have you. They're all buried along that part there. That's the, the crematorium. The, it's got some nice uh, gargoyles and stuff on. Annie, you're getting in the way, man. 
either the gogglers or the I'll show you them before I finish my little tour of the cemetery. There is another grave round here somewhere, I can't think where it is, but there was someone who died on the Titanic. It was one of the crew members, like, come from North Shields. Very interesting to do a bit of research. In fact, find out which, which part he was on the film. <laughs> but he has the air. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if you can see. No, it's too dark there. Might be able to catch them on with the light. But these are old carvings, like there. You can see these ones. That one looks like James Hetfield, out of uh, Metallica. <laughs> but they'll go all the way up. And there's these ones at the top. I see if I can zoom in. Sorry if the uh, camera's not that good at zooming in, but quite good carvings, gargoyles and that. Right, anyway, thanks for watching uh, the tour of the cemetery and the dog walk. I do this every night. <laughs> Cheers for watching. Bye now.